going forward. Um, make sure everybody's on the same page. Just gave some big, big plays up, and you know, that's what happens when you know, play against a good team that capitalize on it. You just got to learn from it and move on. Sort of a wake up call or you know, look in the mirror. How, how do you just handle that internally uh, as a team and individually? That's a humbling experience. You know, uh, everybody needs that growing pains and you know, just another option that we got to overcome and you know, just some stuff we got to work on in practice and you know, we'll be all right. At the same time, I believe you only gave up two third and fourth down conversions in that one. There were positives to take away, certainly a lot of pressure and, and uh, tackles for loss. What, what do you think you can grow from with that one? Just limited to uh, the explosive plays. You know, that's what they beat us on. You know, they had you know, maybe five or six catches over 25 yards. And, you know, we can't have that. And, you know, if you want to be a great defense, you've got to limit those. And, you know, we continue to play well on second, on third and fourth down like we did. And, you know, we, we'll be all right. The way this team plays defense, you've got to be on your toes every single snap because they put so much pressure on you guys because that's the way the defense is designed. How do you keep that uh, in the back of your mind when you're playing defense? You know, that's, that's, the, that's our job. You know, we're, we're put on the island and we accepted that challenge. And, um, you know, we, we, we expect our, our bliss to get there to help us out. But, you know, we just got to stop them from catching the ball. And, you know, just got to work on and perfect our, uh, our craft and work on our technique. And, you know, that would, that would limit the passing. You, know, uh, you played so well in the third quarter, particularly most of the third quarter to that last series there when they hit you with that. What happened on those three plays? And, uh, <laughs> Uh, just, you know, we got tempoed and you know, everybody wasn't on the same page and broke down in coverage and they capitalized on it. So. First real adversity of the season, you guys are doing well in turnover margin. That, that flipped on its head and, and clearly the loss itself. But as a team, does it help you to, to refocus in any way to sort of, you know, see that things aren't always going to go well? How are you going to bounce Absolutely. back from it? We know that we're going to hit with some, some kind of adverse situation. And, uh, that's just going to define the team. We, we've been here before and, you know, it's just, you know, we need to get back on the winning track and get that sour cheese out of our mind. So you do it against quite a good passer and Mason Rudolph really stands in the pocket, um, does well to find his receivers downfield who are quite big too. What, what have you seen from this passing offense you go up against this weekend? The receivers are very physical, they're fast, run great routes. Uh, the options trust are good. They're good. They're good. They're good. They're young. Uh, we just gotta go out there and execute ice cream. It's not so much about what they do. We just gotta go out there and play our defense and you know, work together. They had two weeks to prepare. Did, you, did any, they come out with anything that maybe you uh, didn't have an opportunity to prepare for or was it pretty much what you expected? Um, they showed they show what, you know, what they was going to do film, but you know, uh, you know, I'm just glad that we put that, that game behind us and we're just excited to get ready for what we and go out there and play ball game.